I guess we can all agree that when working on a project, it is pretty satisfying to make everything manually from scratch by doing the modeling, UV unwrapping, texturing, and everything else in between and after that. But when working on something repetitive and tedious, or when working under a deadline, it doesn't seem so fun. However, it is a completely different feeling when generating something procedurally using the power of geometry nodes in Blender. By connecting and setting rules for your geometry to behave and adapt to different use cases. But of course, creating such complex effects would take you a considerable amount of time and effort in addition to a required set of skills. And this brings us to the topic of today, where I will be showing you guys a procedural geometry based add-on that is all about creating handrails inside Blender. The procedural handrail generator can be great for generating and managing handrails, railings, or banisters simply by adjusting and tweaking a custom curve, and by using a couple of sliders to get a result that you can be happy with. It should be noted that this is not a Blender add-on, but a geometry node generator, so no installation process is gonna be needed. All you need to do to use it is simply append the geometry node setup that comes with the Blender file into the project you want to use it for. Then simply add a curve to your project, add a geometry node modifier, and select the procedural handrail generator preset. But there are other methods to use it too. Anyways, when it comes to using it, the first thing to note is that since you are using a curve, you can move each point however you like, and the handrails will adapt automatically. Meaning that you can extrude points and manipulate them using different handle types like free, vector, aligned, and so much more. And by using these handle types, you can easily add curvature to your railings, and you can make them straight or move them however you would like. But you're not only limited to generating railings on flat surfaces, because you can also go crazy and put them on curved surfaces or even stairs for that matter, and the generator will take care of that for you. So after you are satisfied with the main shape of your railings, you can now move on to fine tuning every aspect by going to the modifiers panel and taking a look at the adjustable parameters that you have access to. These settings cover everything that you will ever need, which will give you full control over the height of the railings, column resolution, whether you want it to be a square or a circular profile and so on. You can also adjust the base and top profiles choosing to start the railing higher or lower. And you can also use an inclined offset, which gives you more options. And if you're using a longer handrail with lots of secondary pillars, things might get slow for your machine. So you might want to consider reducing the middle resolution to reduce the pulley count of your asset. Another level of customizability is giving you the option to add tilt to the primary pillars of your handrails. You can do that by selecting the pillar you would like to tilt in the edit mode and go to the transform panel and tilt it however you would like by adjusting the value. But this is not everything. You can take the extra step by going to your geometry node setup and looking for the float curve node. This node will let you tweak and adjust the shape of your decoration by adding and adjusting the points that make up your curve. And if you're into geometry nodes, you can enjoy this playground by testing and changing different values and adding different nodes to achieve different results. So if you're interested in this add-on or geometry node generator, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.